When I was a kid, I used to take my tape recorder, and those of you of a certain age will know what I'm talking about. I would find my tape recorder and my cassette tape, and I would create these characters. I would actually create like shows, almost like today's version of podcasts. And I would create these characters, um, different personalities, and I would actually interview these personalities. And I didn't realize at the time, but what I was doing was I was creating this world, this kind of inner world. Actually, the inner world was coming out of me. And it wasn't until mm, about a year and a half ago, maybe, yeah, about a year and a half ago, that I started allowing, again, these ideas to start flowing out of me. Now, they come out on paper, they come out through some of these videos that I put out once in a while, through my podcast, through my blogs. And I must say, there is an incredible freedom that has come from my allowing this part of myself out of me. I don't know if you can identify with this, but but many of us creative people sometimes resist allowing that part of ourselves out because, frankly, we want to be perfect. You know, let's get real. What is, we don't want to be seen as vulnerable or flawed in some way. So we hold back. We allow this part of ourselves inside and we don't let it out of us because we're afraid somebody's going to see our flaws, is going to see our less than perfect self. What I'm learning in this process of just allowing things to flow is that it is okay to be vulnerable. It is okay to be making mistakes. It is part of the process. Ask any creative person, any genius writer like Hemingway or uh, anybody, a genius musician you can think of, that person has made many, 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 many mistakes and has learned over the years to learn from them and to build upon that creativity. To be okay in the process of one's creativity that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm trying to do these days. I'm trying to be okay with being in the process of my own creativity. Not to be so concerned with the, uh, the result down the road, you know, down the line. What's going to happen down the line? You know, I've been in this process of writing a book for the last year and a half, as many of you know. And I'm getting to the ending stages of that, which is unbelievably exciting to me. <laughs> I have a team of people who have uh, guided me and cared for me through this process. And what I'm learning through this is that it's about the process. It's not about the end result. God willing, there'll be more writings and books after this one. God willing. We'll, we'll see what happens. I certainly am going to keep writing. I am going to keep writing. No matter what happens with this current project, there will be more after this. That's why I try to blog on a regular basis and write and, and do podcasts on a regular basis because it's about the process, not the end result. So I want to... Part of the reason I'm sending this out today is I want to encourage you that if you're in the process of a project or you're thinking of starting a project, you're thinking of doing something that maybe you've been holding back on for a long time, maybe something that you were waiting until you had all the facts or waiting until you... Um, had it all together, so to speak, quote-unquote, had it all together, whatever that means, uh, in order to do this thing, I would encourage you, just do it. 
today find some little thing that you can do towards this dream, towards this project, and to learn to be okay in the process and not worry about the end result. It's sort of like doing the work and letting go of the outcome. It's such a powerful thing. So I hope this message encourages you today. I certainly am learning so much about myself recently in allowing this part of my creativity, this creative self that has always been in me, out of me. And I am excited about what God is going to manifest out of all this. I really don't know. I really don't know. And it's not about the result. It's about the process. And the process itself is so enriching to me because I'm learning so much about myself. I hope you have a blessed weekend. I hope you have the courage and the willingness to take on that thing that you've been holding back on for so long and allow this beautiful creative part of yourself out. The world needs to see you, your light, and your creativity. God bless and have a wonderful weekend.